Hey everyone, this is Jordan here with Bun Print Screen Printing. Today I'm going to show you how Supercolor heat transfers have helped my screen printing shop be able to offer high quality designs at just a 10 piece minimum. As a screen printer, we really try to stick with a higher quantity when you're getting multiple colors, but Supercolor makes it easy by offering a 10 piece minimum and you can get a high quality design such as this one here. This is for my client, Little Rock Clothing Brand, and I'm going to show you how to heat press these into some shirts today. Let's hop in. So when you get your transfer, your first thing you're going to do is grab your t-shirt, make sure you get it the right side, and I like to grab it as close as I can to the seams of the t-shirt, and you're going to grab that and load it onto your platen. Here I just got to pull it over mine to stretch it to fit. And then the first thing you're going to do once you get that set up is you're going to post pre-press the garment. This helps suck any moisture out of the shirt before you go to printing, and it will give you a smoother print once you're ready. So now I got it set up where I'm making sure it's even on the sides. I'm checking the neck to make sure it's a good distance for how I want to print. And so now that I got this, I'm going to flatten it out and get it ready to do the pre-press. So this is five to seven seconds. You're going to pre-press and let it sit there. And once it's good to go, you're going to pull it right up. So you got that pulled up. Make sure it's nice and smooth, free of any debris. Now you're going to get your transfer and put it on the shirt. In these, you just want to make sure it is perfectly lined up of how you would like it, even on the sides. I got this in a good spot. Now I am going to get this ready to print. So you're going to get your flex pad, or you can just use a piece of parchment paper. I use a flex pad from Stalls, and this is good for just covering over the garment and the, um, the heat transfer film. So now I got this lined up where it covers my film. I'm going to pull this down and I'm pressing this at about 325 for 15 seconds. And once that's good to go, and I'm making sure my pressure also is tightened so that it is keeping a consistent pressure when you're printing. You don't want to have it too loose where the, the transfer isn't being pressed hard enough into the garment. Alright, now it's about ready and my timer is going off. Now I'm pulling it up, and I'm pulling that nice and fast. You want to peel these fast. You don't want to do a, a cold peel or do it slowly. Now I'm going to do a post press for about five to seven seconds, or even just three to five. This will help cure it into it and make sure it is good to go. And then after those five to seven seconds or so, you're going to pull it up, and there you'll have your super colored printed shirt. Now you just want to make sure you carefully pull it off your platen. And then once you get that pulled off, you will have a good to go printed shirt. And what I like about super color films is these aren't just your standard heat transfers. These are made to last at least over 50 washes. And you can even do a stretch test and you'll see that it stretch is just as nice as Plastisol. And it's got a good feel to these. Super color transfers have been a great addition for our screen printing shop. With unlimited colors to choose from and a low quantity to order from, they're a great solution for you and your clients looking to get apparel made. Give them a shot today and you will not be disappointed. Subscribe to us for more screen printing and print related content coming your way soon. Thanks for watching everybody.